The Eurovision Song Contest 1986 was the 31st Eurovision Song Contest and was held on 3 May 1986 in the Greek Hall in Bergen, Norway. It was the first occasion on which Norway played host to the contest. The presenter was A.S.E. Cleveland, a well-known folk guitarist who was president of the Norwegian Association of Musicians. The 1986 contest was a first for Eurovision in that royalty were among the guests, Crown Prince Harold, Crown Princess Sonia, Princess Martha Louise and Prince Harkin Magnus were all in attendance. Sandra Kim was the winner of this Eurovision with the song, J. Amy Larvey, representing Belgium. Aged 13, Kim was the youngest ever Eurovision winner. Current rules require Eurovision Song Contest participants to be at least 16, so unless the rule is changed, Kim's record will never be broken. In the lyrics of her song, Kim claimed to be 15 years of age, but after the contest, it was revealed that she was actually 13. Switzerland, who finished second, appealed for her to be disqualified, but this was to no avail. Background when they did win the 1985 contest, it was a source of pride among Norwegian population, and the national broadcaster, NRK, took full advantage of being able to showcase Norway and its achievements in front of over 500 million television viewers. By the autumn of 1985, NRK had decided to hold the next year's contest at the Grieg Allen in Bergen, turning down other bids from capital Oslo, and main cities of Stavanger, Sandnes and Trondheim. Norway first hosts Eurovision as this was the first time Norway hosted a Eurovision song contest. NRK commissioned a lavish budget for the event turning Greek Allen into a Viking-esque ice palace for the live show, complete with white and pastel neon lights for the stage. In addition, NRK also had a special diamond-encrusted dress made for presenter A.S.E. Cleveland for her opening number. The prize dress, which weighed upwards of 15 pounds, is still available for viewing at NRK's costuming department at Marian List in Oslo. Cleveland sang the multilingual Welcome to Music as the opening act, incorporating English and French primarily, in addition to other European languages. BBC commentator Terry Wogan, at the close of Cleveland's number, dryly remarked, Katie Boyle never sang, did she, during her opening speech. Cleveland said of Norway's road in the contest. For those of you who have followed Norway's course through the history of the Eurovision Song Contest, you will know that it has been quite thorny, in fact. So, imagine our joy when last year we finally won, and the pleasure we feel today, being able to welcome 700 million viewers to the top of Europe, to Norway, and to Bergen. One of the interval acts presented featured Norwegian musicians Sissel Kik Jebo and Steiner O.F. Stahl. Accompanied by Norwegian National Broadcasting Orchestra, Krinkasting Sorkesteret, they opened with the traditional song of the city of Bergen, Ud Schichte, Frau Ken, and presented a number of familiar tunes while showing the sights and sounds of Bergen area. O.F. Stahl played a range of traditional Norwegian folk instruments such as accordion, recorder and harding fella. The presentation launched Kik Jebo into a career as an internationally recognized artist. Debuts and withdrawals Greece withdrew, having been drawn 18th in order of presentation. The reason behind the withdrawal was that the Eurovision contest coincided with Holy Saturday. Their entry would have been Wagon Lit, performed by Polina. The Italian broadcaster, Ray, simply decided not to send any delegation to Bergen. Conductors. Host conductor in bold results. Voting. The winning song, Belgium's J. Amy Larvey, received points from every jury. Belgium was the winner in the voting from the results of the second jury out of 20, in the longest winning stretch during voting since 1974. Switzerland was behind Belgium in nearly every part of the voting, but Belgium had a commanding lead from the very beginning. Traditionally some juries give high points to the host country's entrant. 
but this did not happen this year. No jury gave Norway's song, Romeo, more than six points out of a possible 12. Belgium scored an absolute record at the time, with Sandra Kim earning a never-seen-before amount of 176 points. Kim received an average of 9.26 points per voting nation, which, as of 2015, still ranks seventh among all Eurovision winners. Score sheet as the free language rule was still cancelled, all songs were performed in native languages to the country they represented. All songs, however, with the exception of the song from Cyprus, have had studio versions recorded by the original Eurovision artists in English as well as their own languages. 12 points below is a summary of all 12 points in the final. Returning artists, commentators, spokespersons, Luxembourg, Frederic Reis, Yugoslavia, Enver Petrovci, France, Patricia Lessier, Norway, Nina Matheson, United Kingdom, Colin Berry, Iceland, Guthrun Skulladottir, Netherlands, Jupe van Ziel, Turkey, Umiptun Cage, Spain, Matilda Fernandez Jarin, Switzerland, Michel Stocker, Israel, Yitzhak Shimony, Ireland, John Skihan, Belgium, Jacques Olivier, Germany, Christoph Diemling, Cyprus, Anna Partelido, Austria, Tilia Herald, Sweden, Agnita Bolm Borjefors, Denmark, Bent Henius, Finland, Solveig Kerlin, Portugal, Margrethe Andrade, National Jury Members, Iceland, Berglind Oradottir, Davith Skevingthor Steinson, Elsa Bjornsatir, Guth John Vigfusson, Guthlog Thorsteinsatir, Karl Thorsteins, Margrethe Stefansdottir, Rikartha Rikartsson, Salome Thorkelsdottir, Sigurd or Sigurd Orson, Svanhilde Christiansdottir, Turkey, AYCA Aaron, Z of Anadol, Khan Bozoglu, Ishigal Soil, Ozlm Budakoglu, Fatma Dickman, Allard and Torin, Ilhan Aslan Bogan, Zaid Razili, Sardot Akhtemel, Suhal Eris. Spain, Jose Maria Tio, Carolina Conejero, Rosario Cabanas, Rafael Camino, Marta Canton, Emilio Aragon, Maria Cuadra, Javier Escriva, Blanca Fernandez Ochoa, Antonio Imascos, Pablo Perez, United Kingdom, David Delder, Gary Spears, Sue Lloyd, other names to follow.